Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Maria from Under the Night Moon, and I'm so happy to um, have finished these books so that I can show you them. They have so many fun things in here. Um, you can see I've made three. They are all identical. So I'm just gonna do a flip through of one for you. But these are already in my Etsy shop. And these are um, just books that I used this gorgeous fabric from. And it's scrappy, it's shabby, it's tattered. It's got this beautiful cabbage rose um, print on there. And I've had it forever and I finally just decided to cut it and use it because I have been just kind of hoarding you know, the length of it, but um, I got three books out of the fabric and it was time for me to just part with it and share it. So um, these books measure, let's see, eight and three quarters by five and a half. So they're a nice size, perfect for journaling. They have a good amount of um, writing pages in here, but they also have a lot of really fun things. Um, that I just, you know, always have in my studio that I'm playing with. And then I had to add, of course, some beautiful Mary images as well. And this is um, just one of the journaling cards. This was going to go on the cover like this. And it can if you want to tuck it behind the ribbon. But um, I really just didn't want to cover up the roses. So, yeah. Um, but let's see, so these are one signature, right? No, two signatures, and they're just filled with all kinds of textiles and fun things, like I said. So let me show you. Um, this is a little pocket using this gorgeous vintage image, and I put a little piece of a jewelry. I just thought the colors were so pretty. A little chapter one tag in there, and a little ribbon. And then I uh, use this beautiful um, vintage drawer paper. I've got some embossed ribbon up here in the corner, a fabric button down here, some seam binding, gorgeous ruffle, and then some more embo uh, embossed. This is velvet, like flocked ribbon that I sent through the embossing machine. And then in this pocket, again, with the beautiful Mary, is this gorgeous, gorgeous rose paper. And then I found here is um, these pencil sketches of some beautiful farms. I think they're New England. But um, I just love when I find stationery like this. So everybody got a piece of this. Each book has a piece, I should say. Like I said, they're identical, the books are. Um, I used my green toile wallpaper um, as the first page and then just fun little tabs on the other side of this is a pocket and then I put a little green pearl and a golden rose and let me just show you that up close these will be listed in my Etsy shop if you're watching this video so if you want to see more close-up pictures I will do my best to show beautiful papers um, little teeny seed seed pocket from the chapter one and I just shrunk it down a little bit ready for some cute little pictures in there and then some textiles over here and I just pinned them onto this um, striped paper so that you can journal on the paper you can move these around undo the safety pin and put them anywhere but I just love the the textile um, addition to the book and then on the other side, I put a little hanging tag, again, from the chapter one. Beautiful. Uh, I did some paper punching, this pink paper that I tea dyed. I hand stamped a beautiful sample stamp down there in the corner. And this is a nice card stock here. Um, June is the month of the Sacred Heart and also of St. Anthony. So this is one of my favorite images of St. Anthony. He's the saint of lost things and so many other things. Um, if you want to know, I will link down below of all the things that he's the saint of. 
and is many, many, many things. So I just love that image. And then a fun little die cut frame and some vintage writing paper for you to journal on. And then I stamped a samples stamp on there as well. Over here, some graph paper with some fun embroidery. Um, again, another little sample stamp there, and I just made it a little flip. Each, um, each book has a garden, a beautiful garden page. And then the Etsy listings will show each book um, and which paper you get. Beautiful stamping, fun little vellum tabs, places for you to write. Here's the other side of the beautiful pink paper. And one of my favorite, favorite Mary images of all time. You can see I put a really pretty um, Prima Rose there. And then some more gorgeous papers for you to write on, to journal. And then on the other side, is just a really fun page from a cookbook. This one's Heavenly Salad. <laughs> Kool-Aid Orange Delight. It's just fun. I love the text. I love the vintage paper. And uh, yeah. And then just some scrapbook paper. Really pretty, uh, really pretty piece of some rose wallpaper that I have. I just put some gold uh, textile on the bottom. And then on the other side, um, I made a charm for the, I made a charm for the um, paper clip. And over here has, again, just some really beautiful Anna Griffin papers and some Tim Holtz wallpaper flowers. I just thought that was be fun for you to play with. You can, um, you know, just use a glue stick and put them anywhere in the book, or you can just write on the back of it and keep it right here as a little tuck. Put a little picture of a pet right there. You could glue it on top of any of the pages. Um, and over here you can see I made a pocket and I just put two little teeny tiny staples right here. And then inside the pocket, I gave you St. Joseph. I love putting him in my, my books. Uh, some fun uh, graph paper, two different kinds. I like this larger one. Um, and then I have this vintage one. I just think they look really cool together. And then one of my um, aged index cards with a cool tab on there. Some fun things for you to journal. Plus you have the page and the pocket. I put a little paper clip right here just to hold it in place. And then you can see the other side of the um, green toile wallpaper. And then I have this drawer paper, this really pretty rose drawer paper. And so I made little envelopes out of it. And I put a little note card in there. Just some fun polka dotted scrapbook paper. And you could tuck all kinds of cute little pictures in there or little prayer cards or notes to yourself quotes, all kinds of fun things in there. I love adding little envelopes. If you follow me, you know I always like to do that. Um, and then down here, just a beautiful um, little tuck spot. And then in the pocket is just some embossed papers. See all the fun things in this book? I die cut out these really pretty doilies out of this. I think it's drawer paper also. Just love it. So delicate and pretty. Beautiful, beautiful journaling cards. And then um, a really fun pink frame. And you can put this anywhere in the book. You can have fun um, just playing with that. And then um, back here is a tuck spot. And I just put a little music paper tag in there. And then on the other side, let me take everything out so you can see. So. Um, this is the beginning, I think, of the second signature here, and so I made it a pocket. So there's pockets on both sides. I hope that makes sense. Right, so in here. And I like to just have tags going both sides. So one faces that way, and then one faces the inside. Basically, I don't like the white showing, 
So I have this um, beautiful wallpaper print to cover on this side. And I just think that looks really pretty. You've got some beautiful um, textiles there, a beautiful rose tag. And then on the other side is a little pocket. It says love with all your heart. You see what I mean about all the little fun things in this book? It's just like a fun little interactive book. And then I embossed this beautiful rose in green because I have, um, I purchased some oxide inks and I bought this green. I just think it's such a pretty color green. And I did this really beautiful rose. And then inside this little glassine um, envelope are little pink tags and I used my botanical stamps. And I think there's, how many? There's four. And those are just fun to journal on. If you started a garden, maybe you wanna put, you know, what you started growing and when. I just think it's a really delicate and pretty little thing to add and that just gets tucked in there uh, some fun scrapbook paper like a ledger journaling pages here's just a little cluster of some uh, pretty wallpaper and laces and some pretty pink paper um, here is a little um, well, let me show you the clothespin that I attached some fabric to just to kind of dress it up a little bit and then it's holding this um, little note it's like a little flip of different papers and there's some wallpaper, another little card, some beautiful stationery, um, and then this gorgeous image of Mary and it's just held together with a little brad. And so I really like adding these because it's a great way to add a bunch of papers without a lot of bulk. And I just have that uh, with this little clothespin. Plus, it's good to have these little um, clothespins while you're working to hold your papers down, uh, that sort of thing. And then on the other side, just a really pretty piece of some, I think this is Laura Ashley wallpaper from my stash. Uh, here's the other side of the floral. Oh, no, wait, there's two florals. Oh, see, I've been working on these books for like months. <laughs> I forgot. So each book has two beautiful florals as the center fold. These beautiful poppies. I was using these books to do paintings from, and um, it's really fun to add them to my books now. They're so pretty. Uh, just some beautiful papers. And then inside this little pocket is a piece of embossed um, cardstock, beautiful tag with some lace, and one of my favorite Mary images. All the images of Mary that I use are my favorite just so you know. <laughs> this one, I just love the way the colors, um, I hope I'm in uh, frame. Uh, other side of the pink, just some fun little tabs, other side of that. And then um, the last page here is the pocket that I was showing you. And I have a little hand, um, oh, my windows are open, I hope it's not too loud. A little wax seal of a rose, and then just some fun textiles, a little sequin piece there. And then this little thing is a little um, tuck spot and a, just a beautiful image to put a little note on a special person that you're praying for maybe. And then just some gorgeous papers. These papers are so beautiful. These are from Cotton and Twig. I think that's the name on Etsy. If you need to know, let me know. I'll put a link down below for you so gorgeous um, on the other side i made these really fun green textile tags and it's backed with some vintage um, scrapbook paper um, but it just has a little collection of papers there's washi tape some burlap lace green it says daydreaming and the little heart charm on the bottom just a little goodie and I think the green, the pinks, um, all kind of go together so pretty. And then the very last page is the envelope that came with the stationary paper. Oops, I am not in frame, I'm so sorry. Uh, so the stationary um, 
the vintage stationery had the, the envelopes as well. So I embossed the flap of the envelope and put it in the book uh, this way so that you've got a tuck behind here. And let me just, I did tuck some stuff in there for you. Um, and then there's a tuck on the front of this beautiful image. There's a little dove brad down here on the bottom. Beautiful image of the angels looking over baby Jesus. Inside the envelope, I put in a beautiful, um, I just bought this scrap of paper. It's so gorgeous. I gave you a nice uh, big tag of that. Plus it's nice and sturdy. And then behind the angels, I put a um, beautiful index card printable, which I think is so pretty with the rose. And then because June is the month of the Sacred Heart, everybody got a Sacred Heart um, prayer card. And this is a digital that um, the artist from the Pixie Dust Files made for me, Debrina Pratt, as a gift for me and my shop. And I just love it. So if you haven't seen these, you can check them out. I'll put a link below. Um, for you that she made those for me and it's so beautiful. I love sharing these in my books because they're just gorgeous um, And then behind the envelope here you can see is a very nice tuck spot um, Another little fun notepad of scrapbook papers really beautiful um, Papers I got this it's like a big paper pad. I got it Joanne's um, but I love the botanical feel. It's text weight paper, so it's nice and light. And it has really pretty images on the front. You could very easily take one off or add to it. You just undo the little... Oh, no, wait, I glued that on there. Um, well, you can still just take these out if you wanted to write on one and tuck it away in the book there. Um, but just a whole bunch of papers, which I love. Then I also gave you a piece of this really pretty wallpaper because it just seemed to match um, the book so well. It's so pretty. And then um, another really beautiful image of Mary. And that uh, concludes the flip through. Um, let's see, I will have to do my signature right here. But um, these will be listed in my Etsy shop again. If you're watching this, they're already in there. And then I just have this really pretty satin pink ribbon um, to keep them closed. But if you want to see um, the different floral papers for the center folds, check out the Etsy listing. Like I said, these are already in my Etsy shop if you're watching this video. So thank you so very much for hanging out with me and watching. I'm so grateful. Um, for this channel to be able to show you my work up close and talk about it. Um, I just feel very, very grateful and it's important to me that I say thank you. Um, follow me on Instagram at Under the Night Moon. Um, leave any comments or questions if you have down below and just have a great really rest of your day. <laughs> and I will see you in the next video. Okay, thank you. Bye for now.